I planned on doing an up style, but I don't know now. <laughs> The aunties are coming. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kyra Sean. Today's video is brought to you by me. I purchased this unit with my own coin. Just know I have tried this wig before, but y'all wanted me to try it again to do the upstyle. So here I am giving you the looks on a budget. So if you wanna hear the wig I'm talking about and see how I got it to this point, make sure you stay tuned for that. As always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. Also give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more videos like this in the future. Let's go. Okay y'all, so this is going to be another review of Outre Julian 2021 is when I initially reviewed her. I have worn that one that I reviewed in that video a couple times. The last time I wore that one was Halloween last year. I think I used it as my scar wig. Wow, scar. <laughs> This is another one that I purchased. I just grabbed her off my shelf. My synthetic wig collection is a lot bigger than my human hair collection because I actually buy wigs for myself. I don't just review wigs, I actually buy these joints in real life. So I have a lot of synthetic wigs that I do not get to wear, but I like to showcase them for y'all. So Julianne, right here. I got her in the color number two. This is a 13 by six lace frontal. It comes with HD transparent lace. You know, it's a synthetic wig, but it's HD transparent lace. No plucking required. It has baby hairs, adjustable wide elastic band, and heat styling friendly. I more than likely will add some heat to the top of this wig, but the plan for this wig is to do an up style. The density is real nice. The curls are juicy and full. It actually feels a lot thinner than I remember her, but we're gonna put it on and see. This is Outre, and they normally run real snug on my head. With that elastic band, she's snug, y'all. It's not gonna come all the way down on my sides either, but we are going to work this out with my brush. I don't want my curls to be that perfect. Brush it out, brush it out. Ooh, flipping and sliding back. So I gotta make sure I fix that. <laughs> Hold on, I need some chapstick on my lips. They looking crazy. All right, move it back forward. That hairline is looking a little blocky. I don't remember it looking like that, but I could be wrong. Part and space is looking real nice. It is kind of short on my sides though. That's track right there. That's the part though. I can still do a deep side part if I wanted to. Okay, okay. <laughs> I planned on doing an up style, but I don't know now. <laughs> I do have some snags at the end of the hair. And this texture of the hair, after a while, it will get stiff and it won't look as flowy. Be careful if you plan on wearing this wig every single day. I don't wear my wigs every single day, okay? I like to switch my wigs out. That's what helps the longevity of your unit. Some of y'all be wearing your wigs every single day for like weeks on end and then be like, why is my wig not lasting? Especially if it's synthetic or fast fashion. Oh, come on now. You, you got to be careful. Get a good rotation going with your wigs. Okay, if you got about five wigs, you can rotate them joints every couple days. Lengthen the life of your wig. Okay, thank you. I'm going to clip it up. Hold on, let me take some of this hair out because this is not sitting as plucked as I would like it to be. So I'm gonna do a little pulling right here. More of a struggle on a synthetic wig, so take your time. Pulling that out. I cannot see what I'm doing. Cut that off like that. Use my Nairobi mousse, the little bit that I have left. Put that around my edges. This is why I love synthetic wigs because depending on how you wanna rock the wig, the styling is already done. So I love synthetic wigs for that, y'all. I do, I do, I do. Tie it down. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of makeup and then we'll come back and style the wig up. Mm. Get my water in for the day. Gonna brush the hair again. Where my brush? Brush it out, brush it out. Take off the band in the back so we can get our lace together. Y'all see that? Okay, okay. It keeps sliding though, golly. Let's just hike it up in the back. You gotta do what you gotta do. Take some of my contour. I'm gonna do a little tinting. I don't need a lot. Contour, contour. Messed up my hairline a little bit. Let's fix that. I want my hairline to lay a certain way. I'm gonna use a little bit of my Escher spray right here in the front, just to lay that down. I realize they're not gonna stay with the mousse because of this wig being too small for my head. Now I can part the hair how I want it. Not gonna tack my sides down because they're not gonna be up. Even if I do an up style, I'm gonna have them hidden. Bring this hair out right here. Bring this hair out right here. I need to pull this out. Careful. There we go. Pull out the hairs you don't need. Now let me go back in 
with my contour. I probably could have tinted my lace under this before I used the contour. I probably would have blended it a lot better, but here we are. I think in my initial install, I wore it to the side. That's because I was real partial to my right side. But now I am partial to the middle. Who am I? <laughs> Okay, so how we looking? I mean, I know we looking good, so <laughs> just go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Listen, if you didn't get her the first go round, get her immediately. Before you human hair brand start stealing my content, talking about something, this is a human hair wig. Lies, $50 synthetic. Like I said, pull some hair out that hairline. Y'all see how we sitting? A synthetic wig. Y'all, again, this one is gonna tangle towards the end, all right? If you wanna cut it, go ahead and cut it. But if you wanna keep it like this, go ahead and keep your wide tooth comb or a paddle brush handy, all right? Go ahead and get them snags out. The color number two is definitely a vibe on me. Normally I go for the 1B, but this is nice. I told y'all I wanted to do an upstyle, so let's see. Let's see if I can do it. Pull that back like so. I can do a half up pointo if I wanted to. Ooh, that'll be cute. Tighten it down. I could even do like a little claw clip. I have mini claw clips, but I don't know where they are right now. I'm gonna use this joint right here just to clip it up like that. Okay, I like that too. Yeah. Like I said, you wanna pluck it up or bring out some edges to kind of swish it around your hairline. I would definitely suggest go ahead and doing that because the hairline is giving off boxy. We want dimension, we want movement up in here. If I wanted to do a full up, will that work? Let's see. Take this clip out, bring it up, bring it up. And I'm gonna claw clip it to the ponytail that's already in the wig. Bring this down to the back. Use your body pin if you need to. I got one little bobby pin right here. I don't know where my other ones are. That's one thing I always lose, hair bows and bobby pins. Tragic. Pull them wigs up. <laughs> Pull them up. Turn around so y'all can see what the back is looking like okay not a 360 just a 13 by 6. i like it i'm serving auntie at the holiday party <laughs> i am not mad at this at all but that's all i got for you guys today as always i will put the direct link for this unit down below so if you guys want to check it out you can don't forget to like comment subscribe and share this video also smash the notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up i love you guys so much and i will see you next time bye